Hi everybody, welcome back to another bookmas video. Today we are going to be tackling this behind me. I need to reorganize and resort my books on my bookshelf. If you watch my channel, you know that I got this this summer when I moved into my apartment. This bookshelf is from Target. I very quickly ran out of room on my bookshelf. I've just been stacking books and piles around my apartment since I filled up this bookshelf. I really want to reorganize it, sort out my books, just make this look prettier. I also did see this TikTok of a person talking about why you should have your books pushed all the way to the back. If you don't have it like that, it can kind of fuck up the way the books sit. I don't know how to explain it, but now I really need to have all my books pushed to the back because I want to take care of my books that I have. I'm going to start with taking all of my books off of the shelves and then just putting them on the ground sorted in the different genres that they are. And then we can get into dusting and resorting this. bookshelf is completely empty. All of my books are on my ground. I definitely do have some books that are on a bookshelf in my living room. Those ones, I'm just gonna leave them out there. They're kind of more sorted by like the aesthetic of being out there, so it's whatever. I'm gonna take a microfiber cloth and dust. This is like the one perk. Well, there are multiple perks in my opinion. I like having shelves that like look like wood rather than having white shelves because white shelves get dusty so fast. My shelf out there that I have my records on is a white shelf. It's one of those like white square ones. I will dust it and the next day it will literally look dirty. Okay, it's all dusted. Another reason I'm doing this video is because I'm kind of hoping that I get a bookshelf for Christmas. I don't know if I'm going to get it because bookshelves are kind of expensive. If I don't get a bookshelf for Christmas, I'm probably going to have to buy a bookshelf in the New Year's anyway. We're going to sort this as if I'm getting a bookshelf for Christmas and I might have some books that stay off of it until Christmas rolls around. But in the New Year, there might be another video of me decorating another bookshelf, building another bookshelf. So I usually film with my books like behind me and the one one thing that I do know that I want to have is I want to have my 2BR my 2BR. Why did I say it like that? I want my TBR shelf to be this shelf, which used to be the one shelf that had like my Sarah J Moss and my random fantasy books. So I think I'm going to put my TBR on this shelf and I think I'm going to switch it up. I had it so, well actually no, I can't switch up the way the bookend goes because otherwise I have this like TJ Maxx sticker that I can't get off of this. I really need to read this book. This has been on my TBR for ages, but I just don't even remember what happens in the first book. If you've read, what would it be? House of Beating Wings, I think was the first book. Please remind me what happens in that book so that I can finally read the second book. And I need to push them all to the end because I don't want my books to age poorly. Oh my God. I also kind of want to mix and match with having some books like this just because I didn't do that last time I put like my bookshelf together and I feel like it does look really pretty. I don't know, I was just bored of the way my books were. I feel like that looks dumb. Stella just got scared by my sheets. I think we're gonna try this. I might hate that and I might change it, but it's fine. And then I have these cute little like Christmas tree decorations that were from last year's like dollar spot at Target. I might change that again. I kind of like that. I kind of hate that. So then I think down here, I really want to have all of like my YA series that are completed and go together. Stella is really getting at it. I kind of want to sort it so it goes YA, 
into YA fantasy and then have this be all fantasy because I think then I'm gonna have the top two be romance if I can fill them up then if everything goes to plans sorry having a dog is literally saying that she's playing with something and having to run to make sure she doesn't swallow anything I am gonna leave all of my nonfiction books all of my thriller horror books for a possible new bookshelf if I do get one if not we're gonna have to redo this video so I wonder actually if this might be easier if if I start by putting my fantasy book on here just to make sure that they fit. I'm gonna start with my Sarah J Moss books. Crescent City, House of Sky and Breath. I'm missing the first one because I read the first one through the library so I do not have a copy of it. I was tempted to get the special edition paperback of it but I just didn't end up getting it. Actually I wonder if I should do Akatar first. Should I technically do it in the way that you're supposed to read the world? I don't even have Akatar, so that was a lie. Court of Mist and Fury, Wings and Ruin. I do have to say with me trying to push them back so that I protect the books. Can't even do the what, what I want to do because in this bookshelf there are like little columns right there so you can't really do that. So ignore what I just said. Hi boobas. Hi booboos. I love you. Um can I be honest? I still have not read A Court of Frost and Starlight. Maybe I'll read it this month to get to my 100 books read for this year. A Court of Silver Flame. Or does that look like cheesy because it's like right under it. My dog has my bra right now. Give me a second, I'm gonna fix this off camera. Sorry the lighting is kind of bad. It's been like very gloomy all day today and now the sun is out and annoying. We're gonna get into the random like leftover fantasy series and then YA will be on this end. I have my Kingdom of the Feared. Kingdom of the Wicked I think is technically what it's called. The Shadow Hunters, the A Curse for True Love books. I will say with having them pushed up to the end, it does make it more obvious when I have paperbacks and then hardcovers because they don't all like equally stick out. We're gonna see how this goes. I have the Naturals series and then I have the Inheritance games. Okay, I feel like that doesn't look too bad. Good Girl's Guide to Murder series can go right there. And then I have Red Queen, Glass Sword, Shatter Me, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, all kind of random. They all fit. I actually really like the random books going up. I think this looks very good. I have so much room on my bookshelf right now. I think I can fit all of my books on my bookshelf. This is really exciting. Okay, next is gonna be romance. This one's gonna be a lot just because I have so many random romance books. There's like genuinely no rhyme or reason for them. They're so random. I think I'm gonna put my favorite ones slash the prettier covers on the lower shelf just because that shelf will actually be seen when I film videos. Let's just do it. I think this is it. I don't know. I just, I like the looks of bookshelves when the books are pushed to the front. I don't know, aesthetically, I think it looks better. Let me know in the comments if you guys know that this actually affects like the aging process of books. I wanna keep my books pretty as I can. I will say I have a ton of books not on this shelf. All of my fiction books, we're gonna put them on the top of the bookshelf. I know I need another bookshelf. Leave me alone. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next bookmas video. And until then, goodbye.